Okay, it's time to give you folks a look at where we're at with the wiring project. First, I need to start the generator, but this is going to be a bit noisy. So the wiring project was not just the electrics, it was also uh, CCTV, HDMI cables and Ethernet cables. We've got a conduit there that's fallen off the wall but we can stick that back on. Lots of power points. And the uh, other thing that's happening here, apart from the fact that we've got to oh, step back down there. did a bit of uh, brick and concrete work and uh, installed that using the plain fixtures I bought just to prove the range would work. Yes we have power, timer, yeah okay, yes we have light, go through to the uh, switchboard here. You see we've got uh, lots of meters. Uh, yeah. So that's all wired up now. I need to turn that one off for later. In the bedroom we've got the uh, TV hung and angled correctly and there's a power point over here a power point over here and one over the other side in a similar way. so those are the types of the USB charger ports in them on the bed uh, TV, bedroom TV, there's a view from our security cameras. So uh, that's happily recording. But uh, that will shut down again, obviously, when I turn the generator off. In the shower toilet, there's the electric B day, which actually has a nightlight, which is cool. Um, and installed an exhaust fan up in the ceiling, which is on a thermostat which will uh, start evacuating warm air from this area when it gets too hot which it does pretty easily In the kitchen we installed two range hoods that one's going to be over the gas cooker that gas cooker there is going to end up on the left hand side that's actually sitting where the electrical cooker area is going to be um, also in here we installed the dishwasher, we plumbed that in, we're we'll going to be waiting on new uh, hinges for the doors for this. Um, and that's the new kitchen sink that Ken Bellowan brought from Melbourne. Uh, non metallic, so it won't corrode. This is the kitchen TV, which has got a satellite receiver box on it now. Uh, so that's another bit of cabling that I wasn't involved in. That was the satellite dish cabling. Uh, but we did get Ethernet run to that uh, media PC there. In the airlocks I have uh, UV bug zappers on movement detectors which will detect movement and then turn on the bug zapper for 12 minutes. Uh, I walked up to the front airlock to this one and it uh, wasn't 
running. And I thought, oh, it's not quite working. And I opened the door and, oh, look, it's detected movement and turned on. So that's good. That's working. And there's the CCTV camera. The people coming into the uh, front airlock. Uh, movement sensor bug zapper and CCTV in the rear airlock. You saw the uh, back of the lounge room at the start. Now this is what the front of the lounge, lounge room looks like. Um, a few things to be tidied up yet. That big monitor there, that will end up on the back of the desk here in place of the uh, ice machine and notebook computer at some stage. Or well, when we get proper power. Um, I'm not going to power up all that stuff until we get the off-grid power because that's just going to suck too many watts. Uh, there's a new AC unit going to go up here more powerful unit to try and cope with the heat that this is going to put out. But you can see we've got the centre speaker on the wall now. Um, that's yarn from Sask, Sask Dutch Kid dairy farm operation in Canada. I watch occasionally. Um, yeah, so all the effects speakers and everything are all in place. So speaker wiring was done without going in the roof, but there are Ethernet cables and HDMI cables running around like there's a HDMI cable that goes from that white computer there across to the back of that AV amp and uh, that will let me feed my picture from the white computer to the uh, big screen as a secondary monitor. Currently I'm actually using uh, blue the capability in Windows which is really cool connect to a remote, remote uh, or multiple screen display uh, and you can connect wirelessly. So this is actually using Bluetooth from that notebook computer to send picture to the secondary screen, which is really quite cool. Um, you can even use the remote on the TV to use as a pointing device on the PC. It's all a bit high tech for me even. Um, yeah, so that's our current state of play. Uh, I think that's probably enough for the house wiring project at this point. I'll leave it at that.